this time around, we're going to come into our uh, recognize, and we're going to use our auto surface. But this time, we're going to do a feature following network, and it's a it's a different type of uh, network uh, where it tries to follow the features of our object. And as always, you can use your context menu to bring up more information about um, the feature following networks. And, and at a later date, I'm going to do a more detailed tutorial on using this one because it can, it's a really powerful tool that you can use to, to draw patches onto your... Um, onto your NURBS geometry. This is worthy of a, a more detailed explanation than the introduction which I'll provide here. And so we're going to use a feature following network and we're going to um, have a medium level of uh, patch complexity. Uh, we're going to leave this, we're going to have an optimized network and we're going to leave these at the defaults. And uh, you'll see the difference in quality between this one and the uh, and, and the uh, evenly distributed network. And I just want you to see this. And we'll talk more about it uh, once it's done. Okay. Here are the results of the feature following. Um, and you can see how uh, it attempts to follow uh, the features and produce a more a quadrilateral patched um, network, but there's uh, several. Um, I like the quality that this generates, and often like to use it. But uh, there, you have a lot of T junctions, which are problematic within the context of uh, nerves modeling. And there's some work that you need to do in order to um, fix this. But that's the subject for another tutorial. But I wanted to show you. Uh, what one of these feature following networks uh, look like and perhaps we'll run one more at a lower level this is uh, at a medium level uh, we can also run it at a much higher level uh, and to output this as always we'd come over to our um, we'd come over to our bodies and this, we'd have our surface bodies uh, and we could export this as a um, export this file as a uh, as an IGES file and we're going to call this uh, feature and I'm going to turn this off and we're going to come over here to the mesh again turn this on uh, and turn off my solid bodies. So I see those. So we have that, and we're going to come over here and recognize, run our auto surface once again. And this time we're going to we're going to make our um, we're we're going to have a feature following network once again, and we're going to go with a uh, a low a real low level. Let's go with a real low level patch patch complexity. And we'll ride with that. We'll look at the output of that. Okay, and let's turn this off. Oh, let's turn this off. Let's pause this for a second. Here is the uh, results of the lower level patch surface. And actually, as you can see that we got a couple little holes in here. But problems like that, I usually feel like as if I can easily fix them in Rhino, because uh, that's that's a that's either a patch or a four-sided surface. But uh, as you can see, uh, we get a really nice um, uh, NURBS patch surface that we could use. Um, within our NURBS modeling geometries and also something like this would be appropriate for uh, CNC milling which often takes surface data. And that concludes our discussion about uh, outputs in RapidWorks. Uh, 
I, th I think um, uh, that should be enough to get you going and to get the data that you generate in the programs to uh, several of the uh, other applications that you may uh, want to, to, to use m moving forward uh, in, your, in your explorations of uh, digital fabrication.